Good afternoon. It is day two of my vlog, and I got something special today. You can kind of see it in the background. I'm here for the opening day of the Skyliner, so hopefully we'll be able to ride that and ride all the stops. Hey, got them running. It's time to go head over there. Nothing like an afternoon stroll through the Disney parking lot. Whoa, the Skyliners, whenever they pass over by, they give quite a bit of shade. It's pretty nice, actually. Especially from this hot Florida heat. Oof. It can be terrible. So let's go see if we can get on. You can hear the people in the Skyliners as they go by. You can hear them laughing, talking. That's crazy. I guess they're not as thick of gondolas as we thought they were, if you could hear through it. The walls are down, the wrapping is off of the signs, and there is quite a line. Let's see how long this takes. I'm excited. saying where you would like to go and you can ride them, wait in line, and it'll take you there, hopefully quickly. Uh, it was a pretty quick ride from here to Hollywood Studios. Overall, I think that this Skyliner system is really neat. Time to head to Pop Century and Art of Animation Station. All right, so we're heading to the Pop Century one, and I was able to get a card for myself this time so I can actually talk for it. I also got one without a character wrap on it. I've noticed that the character wraps are really, really hard to do filming with because all you see is the character wrap on the outside and it doesn't want to focus on the outside, so I should be able to get a lot of good footage here. bigger than I thought it would be. I thought there was no way that you could fit 10 people in here, but it's a very nice ride. At first, whenever you start, the gondolas are very hot, but as soon as you start going, that breeze is coming in and it's like an ice box in here. It's amazing. Just ahead and to the right is Disney's Art of Animation Resort, a larger than life resort that celebrates the creative magic that goes into crafting Disney animated films from sketches to reality. On your left is Disney's Pop Century Resort, a memorable resort that celebrates the way we lived, played, and communicated with each other throughout the 20th century. We are now gliding over the sparkling waters of Hourglass Lake. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the most magical flight on Earth. When exiting the cabin, please supervise children, collect your belongings, and watch your steps. Thank you for flying with us. 
I gotta say I really like that one because it goes over the water. It's a very nice and peaceful yeah. ride, especially since not that many people are using it to go over here. So it seems a lot nicer and more convenient because you don't have to wait in a line. But I'm gonna be getting back on to go to the other side now. I got the Monsters Inc. one this time. It looks really cool with Mike and Sully are outside on the door. I've noticed that these wraps, they provide, they provide a lot of shade for you. Other than the ones that aren't wrapped. I mean, the other ones are polarized, but this wrap seems to make it a lot cooler in here. So if you are afraid about it being hot, definitely try to get a wrapped one. So far I'm loving the system. The little tones in the background, I thought I was gonna hate them, but they're actually pretty soothing and it gives you a lot of cool facts about the Skyliner and Walt Disney World property. So I think that's a plus. I don't understand why people are being so mean about it. It seems like a pretty good thing. It's a very relaxing ride, I have to say, feeling the breeze. If you're on a hot day or anything, definitely ride this because you'll cool down immediately. But I don't think I'm doing that well at this vlogging thing because I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, we'll work on it. It's only day two. We got this. It's been a very nice ride, especially because it takes you behind the scenes of places and you get to go to new places and just stations. They're really well themed and nice and clean for being new. Sorry, I had a love bug on my leg and it was bothering me. And you get to see the whole park from an aerial view. It's great. So just got back to the main hub and I'm in line waiting for Epcot. It's a pretty decent line because of how many people are waiting to go to the park. But it should be moving, it's moving fairly quick at the moment. So we'll see how long it takes. Got Mickey meet and greeting right at the entrance of the west entrance. What? Crazy. They got Goofy too. They got all the characters here on this strip. Wow. And they got Minnie over here. I just stopped by Epcot real quick just to get a little bit of food from the food and wine because I'm really hungry. And I'm gonna go back and ride the Skyliner one more time because I will be back at Epcot later. That is for a special reason, and that is because this is the last time I will be able to see Illuminations. Tomorrow is the last showing. The food choice that I went for for today was the chicken teriyaki bun. I've had this last year, and I know that's really good, so just wanted a quick snack. Also, great view. Time to head back to go ride the Skyliner some more. So they have exclusive merchandise for the Skyliner now. They have a toy car. $15 later, and I got a pin. Hopping back on the Disney Skyliner, going back to Hollywood Studios. Update, the Skyliner has stopped four times in 10 minutes. How many folks? Alright, so we just touched down from the Skyliner and we're back at Hollywood Studios to go have some fun. As always, gotta say hi to Bo. Just casually taking a stroll down Hollywood Boulevard on a Sunday afternoon. So I was thinking I'm gonna head over to Galaxy's Edge, hopefully ride the Millennium Falcon, and possibly, possibly get into the cantina for a drink. We'll see. Star Wars. Everything Star Wars. We'll update on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Still no signage, still no sign of anything. Just some walls. Ah yes, the entrance to a galaxy. Far, far away. Update, they have gotten rid of the water coolers from Galaxy's Edge. And I'm very sad because I'm very thirsty. Just a little stroll through the marketplace, making our way over to the Millennium Falcon. Ah yes, the beautiful Millennium Falcon. Let's see how long the wait is. It's a 65 minute wait, but luckily, I'm a single rider and the line's open. So let's go do that. Walking through the single rider line, because I'm here by myself. 
By far the best time to go into Toy Story Land is when the lights turn on. So cool. Alright, now that we're in Toy Story Land, we start heading to our ride, which is Toy Story Mania! Got a fast pass for it, so let's go do it! It's Toy Story Mania time. Ready. Yeah! Not bad if I do say so myself. It's me! It's me! Alright, let's go take a look and see if they have anything new in the Toy Story gift shop. This whole section smells like strawberries. It's me. I'm Woody. Howdy, 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 howdy. Pretty much all the same stuff as last time. Like I said, Toy Story is beautiful at night. Ah. I gotta say, vlogging when you're at Disney alone, like, really makes you feel like you're not alone. It's like, wow, I'm talking to somebody, even though it's like nobody. You're not nobody. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing at the moment. I'm either going to Epcot to get an early spot for Illuminations, or I'm checking the wait on Tower of Terror. It's probably a smarter idea to go to Epcot and maybe ride Test Track than to go over to Hollywood Studios and Chance Missing Illuminations. So I think I just made my decision. Sorry for this shaky quality. It's really hard to keep the phone stable whenever you're walking. I leave this park, I realize that Disney and company is open again. And they've remodeled the whole thing. What the heck? Wow. It seems a lot smaller. Might just be me. Wow, they've really changed it in here. Good night, Hollywood Studios. Was fun. On my way to Epcot now. Can't forget to say bye to Bo. Bye, Bo. Off to the Skyliner to go over to Epcot. And I also just asked a cast member how late they're running the Skyliner. And they said that it should be up to an hour and a half after the park closes. So that's some good information to know if you're going to be staying the night here. Looks like there's no wait for the Skyliner. Also, I must say, the lights on the Skyliner look beautiful. I do have to say, whenever you're videotaping, get onto the gondola. It's a very, very hard thing to do. Whoa, here we go. Whoa. The cool thing about the gondola at night is apparently they have floor lights. That's really cool. We hope you enjoyed your visit to Hollywood today. Now wave goodbye to your adoring fans below. Bye! There's no adoring fans down there. They lied to me. Just arrived at the Caribbean beach. It sure does look nice all lit up. So I just got off at the gondola for Epcot and I'm making my way into the park, but just wanted to inform you that if it's nine people and you're a single rider and nobody talks in the cart, it's very awkward. I see now why they put in those little fun facts because it fills the emptiness. It's, it's weird. 15 minutes till showtime, so I need to find a spot. And I might get a little something, something before. We're gathered here tonight around the fire. As people of all lands have gathered for thousands and thousands of years before us to share the light, reflections of Earth.
Well, that was it. The very last illuminations I will ever see. I'm looking forward to the new show though. It sounds like it's gonna be really cool, especially the one after that one. Because the Forever show is a temporary show. So the show after that one, it looks really cool because they're gonna be using a lot of projections and stuff. I'm here to see what they're gonna do. So that's gonna do it for today's vlog. We got a lot accomplished today, actually. We're gonna go to the opening of the Skyliner. We were able to ride every single one of the lines. We were able to ride the Millennium Falcon, get into the cantina, ride the Toy Story Mania, and then finally see Illuminations for the very last time. I'd say it was a successful day. But now it's time to end. See you tomorrow on the next vlog.